Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I will show you how this uh, 0.55 3x3 works, which is only 192 blocks in volume. It's only a tutorial and explanation thing. Yeah. Um, smart as I am, I forgot to place the input, which is. and broke it already. That's a good start to the video. Um, yeah. This is how it looks. It is not the fastest for free, but it's like I tried to make like a decently fast one, a decently small size, and I think I succeeded at that part. Now, I also forgot to turn off chat because I'm a moron. And I forgot that um, synergy is weird, so yeah. You will need 36 solid blocks for the hallway, 22 for the wiring, and some transparent blocks as well for wiring. And there's no color coding in this store because it's too simple. Now we will also needing be needing 22 sticky pistons, two normal pistons, one permanently toggled input, a lever or button mover, T flip flop, as well as like for the rest of resources, 19 dust, a dreadstone blocks, six observers, two repeaters, one torch and one node block. Now you also need two hoppers. Now technically one of them just has to be a hopper, the other one can be any container, literally any. But um, yeah, I'm just using a hopper, so it's like less thing, but you can like use a chest or something, it's way cheaper. Now you also need a comparator and a redirector, I use a lectern, I still a floating one. And I advise you to like either <coughs> use a lectern or a copper rod, which would be this thing. That both of those work, but it has to be floating and transparent. so. Don't experiment too much about with that, cause yeah, you might end, uh, just end up breaking the door. So, yeah, let's get started. You will need an item, yeah, a nine by nine by three area, with the door frame being at the last block. Meaning, if you want uh, uh, only one block deep dent, just make sure that the back is facing outward, cause there's the dent. Like on from the other side, you will have a longer hallway. That's like more suited for the base in order if you're actually like building that in survival. No. Then go up on the side three blocks and then place two blocks over so four blocks and then you can from that block just place over three and that's the base of the hallway. Just go three blocks up on the other side and put a roof on that. That's your door frame. Now for the layout we're gonna do a double piston scenario right here and a single right here. And then just place two support blocks right here, double piston and on top of that, with a single piston center right here. Now, on this side, just three pistons, and top two, like that, two singles. And that's the layout. Now, this is gonna work by, um, well, the uh, closing is actually this, 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 this. Quite simple. Now, the opening isn't that simple, because from the closing, we also power those two, which doesn't do anything right now. But that's the thing that allows us to, when you look at the door, on move one, the middle block will get retracted. And that um, allows us to load. Basically, those are budded right now, so they like they are powered, but they can't extend. And basically what happens to the first, first thing, this one unpowers, but I'm updating this budded piston, which immediately extends. And in the same game tick, we're also going to remove its power, so it basically zero takes. It's not a true zero take, but it kind of like behaves like one. And after that, we immediately also do this. So yeah, it's not that hard to... I'm gonna show it one more time. Yeah, basically unpower this, and then the same game tick with Basically the same delay, we'll come on that later, because that's not 100% true. Basically the same delay, this one tracks and some. So like this happens all on move one. And then just empower everything else. And do like a retraction. But this one gets spotted, so like the double button piston doesn't get fired. Basically something like this happens. Yeah, but not exactly that. No. As we both need to like power and unpower this in the very first move, we just place our input. A dust line of redstone right here, probably go right there, and does the first move of opening and closing. Now, um, the very next thing we want to do is power this, and on for the opening, this needs to retract with a very specific delay um, three game ticks, if I'm not mistaken. And that delay is kind of not that easy to get. And I'm just using the retraction like as a piston retract with three game ticks, and I'm using that delay. 
I uh, would like to have um, two mad rotters. Basically, that means we have this going here, and this only adds to the end of the closing. This turns off instantly on the opening. So, uh, there's a piston right here with redstone block, piston here with redstone block. As you can see, this has. Uh, this is a bit late, but here it works perfectly. Now, obviously, this uh, does not reject it, but we're gonna build that later. But what you can tell is that this is quite slow, and it's actually too slow for the other edge. So we need some other way to power this on that edge, and that is... We can just do that with an observer. Which gets powered from this block, which butts that. And to like update that, we also put a piston right here. And just reset that. And this does that but also spits it out. So we just need to like cancel the second pulse of like when this is to power up here. That pulse we need to just cancel by powering this piston in time so that that pulse basically gets drowned out. <coughs> but before we can care about that we need to retract um, in this position this block from here to here. And we're gonna do this via this block. Now we need to do this within the same game tick. So like with the same delay on a visual standpoint, but that actually is a different delay when um, you take the game processing or like scheduling in to effect, which basically we're gonna having free block event delay, which sounds like what the hell. Basically, this piston when activated has one block event delay because or has no block block event delay because it immediately extends. Meaning that, for example, if we have two pistons like this, which is a very Cool that's example, I'm just gonna um, make this. This one will always extend for it because like via the dust update order this has more priority. And so the game processes this first. Now what we can do is we can go up and an update the piston and like this and now the other one extends first and that's because well this one gets extended first and you may think that this one will get extended at the same time but this one only updates this so <clears throat> while it's scheduling this one is scheduled later for example if we now do both this will either again be prioritized then if we do something like this adding free block event here this one is again prioritized. It is a weird mix of dumb stuff. And basically we just need three block events between this piston retracting and then and this one um, like extending and retracting to generate this irritating. I'm gonna do that by placing a support block right here and a sticky piston right here. With just a regular block on its face. Now, um, you can just grab, grab one of the hoppers and block that and replace that with a uh, redstone lock for now. Because look what happens. This in theory works. Problem is that this would get updated by pot top pistons moving, which um, would also update this. Because it's bu um, buttered and that's not what we want. Um, so we kind of need to change that. And that's why we have a normal block right here. But obviously that block does not power this piston at this spot and that's why we have Another block right here with a comparator on top of it that reads um, this. And I didn't mention it earlier, but you need a junk item. Because I'm a dumbass. Um, yeah, this gets powered. And this does the retraction. Now we only need to power do this retraction to draw out the other pulse. And that's actually quite simple. We're just going to do it with three observers from this business. So one, two, three. And that does that. So if you look at this like this, it's actually not that bad. Yeah, it could be faster, but yeah, this was size, uh, size optimized. Now, a little problem, not really. This piston uh, turns uh, off and on. Yeah, like uh, this piston doesn't matter right now, but this retraction from here to here has to happen at six bad. Look, with six block of delay. And that is actually not that easy to fit. Because right here, this um, piston gets uh, powered from this, but updated from this. So this piston is already one block event delay, and um, this one adds one, so two, three, and this is the three that we need for this. And like technically it would work with two, but with two it would be unreliable. 
or locational. That's why everybody uses free. You also don't need more than free. However, we also need free from this now. And in other draws, what you could do is just have like another like chain happening from here, and that would also occupy block delay. But we can't do that here. Just without space. We need to make another six um, bad chain. You know, luckily, this one also adds one, so we can, can reuse that. And to just get the signal over here fast and efficient, we just put a block right here. Because you can't have a written block here, because that would but this thing. That's what we need. Um, like, uh, just two solid blocks here and the one that's on touch. And that's how we're gonna get power to here. Now, we're gonna go up one and immediately down again. It seems really unnecessary, but it's not. But for now, just place a block here. That's powering, that's powering the signal. Now, this may seem like this is just the only purpose of this. It looks cool, but that's actually not the um, case. Because we're gonna place a transparent block right here and it goes up like this, powering the bottom piston. Then we're gonna go up one again and with a transparent one up again. And this powers those two, but not does not button this one. That's why we need this. So it has uh, its actual use thing. I'm gonna go up two more into a block or rest on block. Adding so far, we've added one, two, three bed. We need three bed from this to there, and that's doable. Now we can already place the floor in here. If, you, if that's more convenient for you, don't have to. Um, but making this wall is how I um, or like. I'm just gonna place everything in because it's easier to build in. Now, three bed. That means I'm gonna put a redstone dust right here, piston right here. That adds another bed. The other one just goes into the chain. One more red. And then again, I'm just go down one block here. <laughs> and one more red. This is enough bad now. If we put uh, dust here, because it gets powered over that. Now we also need to power this. And in some time, because if we power that too late, this bottom piston will just push up. So we have to power that earlier. And that's why we're using this. However, when we power this, you will see that that's still too low. Um, and that's something where we're gonna put a slot block right here, or send us right here. Now, this may seem um, that it makes that piston pointless. However, it because like, well, it doesn't really change anything from like appearance, but it actually changes the fact that um, this one. Like still adds bad to this because like it's locational which of those dusts um, updates first and which of those depowers first but this one no matter if it depowers first is getting held on by the redstone block right here in this position so it doesn't actually matter and this one will only get turned off when this one turns off adding one block with delay that continues now to power the back piston in the right time um, that's actually quite easy the repeater here to a solid block and the transparent block below and then put a solid block here transparent block right here solid block here now this technically also could be a transparent block i just use a solid one because it's transparent is not necessary however this one has to be transparent so it does not power those two well right now it actually does because it points to here and that's where we need the real reactor and that's also what i meant with budding which you don't want to happen it's i guess it doesn't really matter that much but like it wasn't a materialist, so just listen to the materialist. Now this does this. Now we only need to do the final rejection here. And that there is no good and obvious way to do that. There's like quite not a lot of space and we need three observers into here. And what I found is having a piston right here and an observer right here. You can just put on the dust back on top of here. With the hopper and this observer. Now this butts this and for the update we need the one node block which I actually forgot from apparently. And that completes the door. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's not that hard of a door. Now there was a tutorial but I really quick wanted to like also I didn't mention this, I built this door together with Blockstaff. So me and Blockstaff built the door. 
Yeah. And something I quickly want to mention. Oh, angle. Um, I hit 200 subscribers recently, which is insane. Thank you very much. And to be honest, I didn't anticipate it that early, so I'm most definitely not ready with my subscriber special yet. So give me some time. The next one or two videos won't be it, but it will come and I hope it will not disappoint. So yeah. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Okay, thanks. Bye.